hello everyone i hope you all are doing well today i am going to give you an update which i have just seen recently but actually it's uh, kind of new because github announced it earlier but whatever i'm gonna show you that what it is all right so as you can see i am currently in my github and i'm currently in a in a github repository of mine and that is the problem solving matrix by the way if you are new to this channel then I am conducting a playlist where I solve many pro problems using programming languages and I make them sequential videos. If you are interested, then make sure to check them out. I'm going to provide the link in this video's description box as well. All right. So this is my repository from here. You can start this repository for this repository. Make sure to start the repository. It would mean a lot to me. All right. So whenever we want to fork a repository, what we normally do is simply click code and we uh, copy the SSH keys for secure shell and otherwise we normally use HTTPS whenever we don't want to contribute anything or something like that. All right. But from here on out, you would see a new uh, thing like this code spaces and under here, you'll get some instances if you have run any code spaces earlier based on this repository. Like I am currently using uh, code spaces already in this repository. So it's in this instances it's kind of like a virtual machine where you can work on your project all right now let's say i'm gonna simply click open in and i can open in browser i can open in visual studio code on my local machine i can open it in JetBrains gateway or i can even open it in jupyter lab but right now i'm gonna open it in browser and i'm simply simply opening it in a new tab and see what's happening here so the magic has been started all of this all of this is exactly similar like the visual studio code we have on our local machine but it's running on the cloud and for free that's the fun and actually that's not only the fun part let me show you some different things here you can install any extensions you want like you did earlier on your local machine and you can also run your code for instance i have installed these extensions right now and i have also installed code runner so that i can run my code directly from here and i can do that here as well you can also install different themes different file icon themes and so on as you normally do in your local machine and you can apply them here as well for an example i'm gonna simply opening this code of mine and if i simply use the code runner extension and run code it would open and run the code instantly and you can see how fast it is all right it's really fast because it is running on a linux server if i'm not mistaken but the command seems and the output seems it's running on a linux server most probably in ubuntu if i'm not mistaken all right and you can customize your settings from here normally as you do from your local machine you can turn on your settings sync you can switch to the insider version you can tweak the settings and so on and so forth and you can use the git here as well obviously because it's running on github all right and most important thing is you can also use github copilot here if that is available on your account all right so that's a super cool thing in my opinion and i really like this thing i mean i'm really liking this concept and i hope that i would work with this github code spaces a lot more than earlier all right so this is the fun part and let's say i want to simply uh, close these workspaces i can simply close the editor and i can also close the folder like this all right and i can simply close it if i don't want or if i don't want to do that i can simply close this here all of this has been saved in my this virtual machine and whenever i want i can open it in any browser using my github account all right but let's say i want to dispose of that instances what i can do i can simply stop the code space i can change the machine type or i can simply delete it let's see what we have in this change machine type wow we have machine type 2 core 4 gigabyte of ram 32 gigabyte of storage and we have 16 32 gigabyte of ram and 128 gigabyte of storage and if i simply update the code spaces 
you see i am getting 16 core and 32 gigabyte of ram and 128 gigabyte of storage all of these all of these are for free how cool is that i mean simply admit it how cool is that we have to wait for some time because it's changing the machine types so that it can get updated to this well it's changing the machine type it might take some time but i don't want it i don't want to use this instance right now because i'm gonna open another instance so i can simply delete it from here and let me simply create a new code space new with option configure dev container setup rebuilds manage code spaces whatever i can simply open this create code space on main because that's enough for me all right so here i am opening another code spaces but you see that i am currently running two core whatever it might take some time to update itself but for this type of code this configuration is completely fine for me and if you want you can change it from here update code space but keep in mind that it would take some time all right so let me simply stop it and let's see whenever it gets available for me so here you go we have successfully updated our machine from 2 core to 16 core cpu 32 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabyte of storage which is a lot more than we actually need all right and i can open this in my browser again so here is our github code space after updating our rig and you can check whether you have successfully updated to that or not how can you do that simply press f1 key and search for code spaces change machine type hit enter and see this is my current machine type and that is 16 cores of cpu 32 gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabyte of storage which is huge more than huge actually all right so here you go so that's it for today this video is not for promoting anything or something like that i have just explored it and i tried to tweak this thing a little bit and i thought about why not i share it with you as well all right so this is it thank you for watching if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and i will see you in the next video thank you